Hi, I'm going to take you through a vinyasa flow um, and then we'll finish with a little bit more of some hips and shoulder uh, stretches. Um, if you want some props, you don't have to. You can do all of this without, but if you need the assistance, you can grab a jar of peanut butter. Um, it will attract the dogs, apparently, um, if you don't have a block, so that will work. Um, and if you want like a towel or a shirt um, in case, you know, you just want the extra assistance, you'll find out. Otherwise, you can do without. All right, we'll start actually standing at the top of our space. So just bring your feet about hip distance apart. Hands can come to heart center. We'll just take a few grounding breaths before we get flowing. Take a big inhale through the nose and then sigh it out. Take a few more breaths at your own pace. Inhaling, filling up the lungs, filling up the belly and then letting the heat go. One more breath. Let it go. Take a big inhale, lift those arms over the head. Like you're waking up in the morning, big, big stretch. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees softly so you feel the length of the back of the legs and then let the head drop heavy. Maybe you take your gaze towards your belly button to feel the spine really lengthen behind your neck. Let your shoulder blades melt away from each other. We'll take one more grounding breath right here. Big inhale. Let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins or your thighs, but enough to roll the shoulder blades back for a flat back, feeling the length again in the back of the legs. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up, all the way up. Exhale, forward fold again. This time, plant the hands to the mat. Step your right foot back, and then step the left foot back for a high plank position. Hands right underneath shoulders. You can drop to the knees if you're not feeling very energetic right now. Your choice, but take a big inhale. Fill up the belly, pull that belly button towards the spine, and then exhale, bring the elbows into the ribs and come all the way down to the mat. Keep the hands where they are, but flatten the feet. And then inhale for cobra, lifting the chest off of the mat, squeezing the low back, turning on the back of the body. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, push up to plank on the knees or the toes. Exhale, down to the facing dog. Separate those fingertips really wide. Bend the knees softly or as much as you need to here so you can press the chest towards the thighs. Take another breath. Bring those big toes to touch. And then inhale the right leg towards the sky. Flex that foot so the, the toes are facing the floor. And let that left heel fall heavy. As you exhale, pull the knee in towards the nose and send it all the way through between those hands. Drop the back foot, rotate it so that the back arch or the edge of the foot is matching the edge of the mat. And then open up for warrior two. Let that exhale go. Take that gaze towards the fingertips. Nice deep bend in the front knee. Your front heel should be in line with the back arch of your foot. Inhale, flip the front palm. Reach towards the ceiling and then let yourself fall back a little, feeling the length of the side body. Maybe your hand rests on the back leg or maybe it wraps around the waist. Either way, open up the heart towards the ceiling. Beautiful, exhale. Cartwheel the hands back to the front of your space. Lift the back heel off of the mat so all 10 toes are facing the front of the mat. And then plant the left hand next to the right foot. Open up to a twisting lunge. You can drop the knee here if that feels more comfortable. Otherwise, lift, keep the knee lifted. And open that arm just a little bit further behind you to really feel the thoracic spine open and the hips and glutes. Bring that hand back to the front of the mat. Step forward, forward fold. Again, let the head and that upper body hang heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, swan dive forward again. This time, actually step back into your high plank again. Take a big inhale. Exhale, come all the way down to the mat. Release those toes. Squeeze the back of the body as you inhale for cobra. 
should feel really nice if you sit all day working from home, not moving quite as much. Opening up the chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, curl the toes, push back into high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Take another breath here. Let it go. Bring those big toes to touch again, and then inhale the left leg to the sky. Hips stay square to the floor. Keep that left foot flexed, and let the right heel fall heavy. Ready? As you exhale, pull the knee in towards your nose, pull the belly button towards the spine, making space to bring the left foot all the way forward. Moving to warrior two, exhale, cartwheel that back foot so the back edge of the mat is parallel to the edge of your foot. Again, deep bend, front knee in line with that pinky toe, exhale, relax. Inhale, flip the front palm. Maybe you reach forward to get a little more space. And then as you exhale, reach back. Maybe that right hand reaches the right leg or wraps around the waist. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the front of the mat. Right hand plants next to the left foot. And then lift that right heel off of the mat. So all 10 toes face forward. And then open up that left arm. Open up the chest towards the ceiling as far as you can. Maybe you drop the knee if that's more comfortable, your choice. Exhale, let it go. This time, just step back and move to downward dog. Let that heat go. Try that one more time, just to add a little more heat, but we'll add one more movement. Inhale that right leg to the sky. Again, flexing the foot. Hips are square to the floor. Exhale, pull the knee in towards your nose, rounding through the spine to create space. Use your core to send that leg forward. Exhale, warrior two. There you go. Inhale, flip the front palm. And reach up for reverse warrior, creating space through every rib with that breath. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the front of your space. Left hand comes next to the right foot. Back heel lifts off of the mat and then open up again for that twisting lunge. So you have lots of options here. You can drop the knee if you're feeling a little imbalanced today, or if you want the challenge, keep the knee lifted, and then open up your arms so that you're twisting with your right arm behind you, left arm forward. Again, you can do this on your knee just as the same. If you want just a little bit more, you can reverse that twist and just let that right hand come towards the left leg. So it comes behind you, grabs hold of that thigh, and then just reach that left arm towards the ceiling as you lean back slightly. This whole thing can be done on the knees. Feeling a little bit more space through that hip flexor on the left side. Take one more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel forward. Step forward, forward fold. Let it hang. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down, rise up. Energy through those fingertips. Exhale, fold right back forward. Plant both feet back for high plank. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lower down for cobra. We're just coming down for chaturanga. And then inhale for cobra. Exhale, let it go. <laughs> Inhale. There we go. My dog's doing down dog. Inhale for a high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. We'll do the other side with that little add on. Inhale the left leg to the sky. Hips square to the floor. As you exhale, pull that knee in towards the nose, rounding through the spine, and send that leg all the way forward. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Let it go. Inhale, flip the front palm, and reach forward for reverse warrior. Exhale, let go of that pose. Cartwheel the right hand right next to the left foot. Lift that back heel off the mat, so all 10 toes face forward. And again, open up for that twisting lunge. On the knee, or on the toe. 
If you're ready for a little more, you can always stay here if that feels more comfortable. Otherwise, use your core, squeeze those thighs together, and then inhale, lift for that standing twisting lunge. This time, left arm should be behind you. Right arm reaches forward. Maybe your gaze follows back, or maybe it stays forward, that's fine. And then as we exhale, we reach that right arm towards the ceiling, left arm reaches back for that reverse lunge. Hold out to it, this is the hardest part of class. Exhale, cartwheel the hands forward, step back, hold your high plank, take a big inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down, chaturanga, elbows into the ribs. As you inhale for cobra, squeeze the low back. Try not to use your hands. Just use the strength in your low back to squeeze, opening up the chest. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale for high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Take a breath here. Maybe you wiggle out those feet. Dropping one heel at a time, or maybe you move side to side. Whatever feels good here. And just take one more deep breath. Look towards the top of your space. Bend your knees and exhale, step forward or hop forward to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Take another inhale here. Exhale, let it go. We'll slow it down here for a little bit more of a stretch. So this is one of my favorite poses, Malasana, or garland pose. Wiggle your feet all the way to the edges of your mat. My toes kind of fall off of the mat. Toes turned out. This is where your peanut butter jar might come in handy. But from here, you can try it first. Send your hips far down and back and let your elbows meet your knees to push the knees away, creating resistance, leaving your chest tall. If your knees feel icky here, you can grab a jar of peanut butter. Just don't tell your family that you're sitting on the peanut butter, I guess. And then open the chest, and this should relieve a lot of tension in the knees, but still allow you to create space in those hips. We'll hold here for just a few breaths. stay there if that feels good for you or you can take the option of placing your right hand or plant it firmly on the mat press that right elbow into the knee a little more and then open up to the left side it's a little bit more of a twist and you'll feel you can still keep the peanut butter jar or whatever um, prop you have there that still works but either way you can open up that chest open the heart but press the knee firmly into, or the elbow firmly into the knee to open up the hips. Hold for one more breath. If you took that option, let's switch sides. to center for just one final breath here. Big inhale, side out. <sighs> Bring those hands to the mat, lift the hips back up to the sky. Oh, might feel a little rough getting up. And then wiggle those feet back underneath your hips. Let your upper body hang heavy for just a moment. <sighs> inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll take a chest opener here. So this is where you might need your shirt or towel. Again, you don't have to use that. I'll start with you. We'll squeeze our shoulder blades together behind you, squeezing the hands like you're squeezing a beach ball. If that feels good and you want more, clasp the hands together, kiss the palms together, and open the chest. If this feels icky or if you're not getting much from it, that's where the shirt comes in. And you can just hold it and use it as a prop to squeeze behind. From here, take a big inhale. If you're ready for a little more, exhale, forward fold, bending the knees, letting the arms come as far over the head as feels comfortable. You can do this with or without your prop.
we'll hold here for just three more deep breaths. Really try to kiss the palms together if your hands are clasped. Squeezing the shoulder blades, opening the chest in front. Another great exercise if you're sitting a lot, working from home lately. Catch that last exhale. Let those arms fall underneath the face. If you're not in forward fold, find forward fold now. Take another big inhale to halfway lift. Flatten out the back. Exhale, forward fold. Let the hands to the mat step back for high plank. And then downward facing dog. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Let your next inhale bring you to high plank. Again, you can do this on your knees or your toes, and then come onto your elbows. Moving into dolphin pose, another great shoulder opener. Clasp the fingertips around each other. Squeeze those elbows to create energy in your arms. And then from here, we're basically moving to downward dog on our elbows, dolphin pose. Send your chest towards your thighs, and you're going to probably want to walk your hands, I'm sorry, your knees towards your face. As much as you need to, whatever feels comfortable, but send that chest towards the thighs. If you feel a lot of discomfort here, you can always just take downward facing dog or child's pose. <laughs> hey, Dash. Let's hold this pose for three more breaths. And bring yourself back forward, maybe walk your feet behind you. Drop the knees for child's pose, knees apart, toes together, unclasp the fingertips, push the butt back, and let your fingertips roll forward as your forehead comes to the mat. Stretching out the side body, lengthening the side bodies. We'll take one final pose here. Walk your hands to the right side of your mat. Dig the right hand right on top of the left, and then dig the left armpit into the mat. If you kind of open up to the right side, peeking underneath that right armpit. You should feel a big side body stretch on the left side. And let's walk back to center. And then start to walk to the other side of our mat. Left hand plants right on top of the right hand. Right armpit digs down into the mat, breathing into that side body. Inhale, come back to the center. You can stay in child's pose, or we'll take one final restorative pose. If this feels good, stay here, or walk your knees really close together, and then allow your hands to come behind you. Maybe they grab hold of the heels, or maybe they just flop next to you. And then the crown of the head meets the mat. Relax here so you feel your upper body and your shoulder blades split apart. You can stay here for as long as feels comfortable. Maybe you choose to take Shavasana. Just take a few moments to be with your breath. Calming the heart, calming the mind, calm the body. Take one more big inhale. Let go. I invite you to stay here, stay in Shavasana, or just come back, bringing those arms over the head, big inhale. Exhale, hands to right center, let it go. Namaste, enjoy your day. Thanks for dealing with Madonna up in here. <laughs>